Hi friends, welcome to Biology Simplified Tamil. Now, we are going to biotechnology and its application chapter. Now, we are going to talk about ethical issues. Last part of the video. The manipulation of living organisms. Manipulation of living organisms. Living organisms are not going to be able to do it. That is the manipulation of living organisms by the human race cannot go on any further. We are going to be able to do it in our own way. Without regulations. Without regulations. That is why we are going to be able to manipulate an organism. That is why we are going to be able to do it. அது அது மேனிப்புலேட் பண்ணதுனால் நமக்கே இந்த பிரச்சனையும் வராமல் இருக்கணும் இதெல்லாம் ரெகுலேஷன் படி போனால் தான் கரெக்டாக இருக்கும் சம் எத்திக்கல் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட்ஸ் ஆர் ரெக்கர்ட் டு evaluate the morality of all human activities that might help or harm living organisms so nama activity vandu sometimes sil organisms ku helpful ah irukum even human race ke helpful ah irukum sometimes harmful ah kuda poi mudinjiralam idella regulate pannu going beyond the morality of such issues the biological significance of such things is also important genetic modification of organisms can have unpredictable results when such organisms are introduced into the ecosystem in the corona virus la kuda edho genetic manipulation or DNA technology is going to spread out of the same way. So, unpredictable issues and results are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. Therefore, the Indian government has set up organizations such as GEAC. This is the full form of what you are going to do. Genetic Engineering Approval Committee. GEAC is the full form of Genetic Engineering Approval Committee which will make decision regarding the validity of GM research. So, genetically modified organism is not going to be done. That research is going to be done with our validity. So, let's see if we can see that. One minute. Okay. Silent report. If you record the sound, the sound is coming. Copyright issue is coming. The sound is coming. Okay. GEAC. Genetic Engineering Approval Committee. Uh, which will make decision regarding the validity of GM research and the safety of introducing GM organisms for the public services. So, in the GM organisms, we can use it as well as we can use it as well as we can use it as well as Genetic Engineering Approval Committee. The modification or usage of living organisms for public services as food and medicine sources, for example. So, in the food, there is a genetically modified BT, Katrika, BT, Tomato. That is what we use as well. health issues of varadhing are the nama proof panano adhe poda the medicine then has also created problems with patents granted for the same patent na enna naa kastra pattu kandu pichay naa kastra pattu in genetic engineering le enno da arima pain badutti naan oor product avuru akra adhe yallaru vittu kasa akranga naa bondi aite adha pad abdi ahamar karatthuk tha patent and grow on it. There is growing public anger that certain companies are being granted patents for products and technologies that make use of the genetic materials, plants and other biological resources that have long been identified, developed and used by farmers and indigenous people of a specific region or country. For example, if you look at farmers and indigenous people, we are not in our country, 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 we are not in our country. நம்ம நாளிஜை இன்னுட்டங்க யூஸ் பண்டுராங்க சோ இது நல்ல கோம் இருக்கு rice is an important food grain the presence of which goes back thousands of years in Asia's agriculture history so பலாயிர வர்ஷத்துக்கு முன்னாடியிருந்தே Asian regionலதான் நம்ம rice வந்து cultivate பணிட்டுக்கும் there are an estimated 2 lakh variety 2 lakh varieties of rice in India alone Indiaல மட்டு 2லைச்ச variety rice இருக்கு uh, so that uh, the diversity of rice in India is one of the richest in the world. So India and the different kind of uh, rice variety on the Basmati rice is distinct for its unique aroma and flavor and 27 documented varieties of Basmati are grown in India. So Basmati Ulla Risili in the Rendlech variety specific Basmati rice ni lamarko briani clam poduanga and the Iravati documented varieties in India cultivatum panro. There is a reference to Basmati in ancient texts, folklore and poetry in the um, uh, Bible, Quran, Kambaramayanam, this is not there. There is reference to uh, Basmati in ancient text folklore uh, and poetry as it has been grown for centuries. So, we cultivate it in 1997, an American company got patent rights on Basmati rice 
through the US Patent and Trademark Office. நம்ம பாஸ்மதி ரைஸ்க்கு அவங்க பேட்டன் வாங்கிட்டாங்க This allowed the company to sell a new variety of basmati in the US and abroad. This new variety of basmati had actually been derived from Indian farmers varieties. Indian basmati was crossed with semi-dwarf varieties and claimed as an invention or a novelty. So, நம்மலோட பாஸ்மதி ரைஸை எடுத்து Indian பாஸ்மதி ரைஸை ஒரு semi-dwarf variety ஓட cross பண்ணி வந்த புது பாஸ்மதி ரைஸ் இது நாங்க உருவாக்குனது இதுக்கு நாங்க தான் பேண்டட் வாங்கிருப்போம் நாங்க தான் விக்க முடியும் அப்படின் சொல்லிட்டாங்க The patent extends to functional equivalence implying that other people selling basmati rice could be restricted by the patent. So, மத்தாவுங்க யாராது விக்க முடியாது இந்த கம்பெனிட்டுதுதான் நம்ம வாங்குனுங்கள் மறி பிரச்சனியாயிட்ட Several attempts have also been made to patent uses, uh, products and processes based on Indian traditional herbal medicine. Example, turmeric, neem, manjal, um, and the way pay lay the lam and the avunga patent panga tripanir karanga. If we are not vigilant, nama vevarama ilam petona, and we do not immediately counter these patent applications, would any and the patent application stop panla abdina, other countries or individuals may in cash on our rich legacy. and we may not be able to do anything about it. So, if we have a patent, we will be able to do something like that. We will be able to do something like that. We will be able to do that patent. Biopiracy. Piracy is a threat. Living organism, some of the products, organism is a threat. Is the term used to refer to the use of bioresources by multinational companies, multinational companies, developed companies and other organization without proper authorization from the countries and people concerned with compensatory payment. That is a compensatory payment. Knowledge number is and the plant number is a resource in our area. But that is why we will pay for it. We will pay for any compensation. That is the biopiracy. Most of the industrialized nations are rich financially but poor in biodiversity. So, multinational companies, industrial nations, they have to use medicinal plants. And traditional knowledge, that is why they are there. They are there. They are there. They are there. In contrast, the developing and underdeveloped world is rich in biodiversity. We are in developing countries. We are in developing countries. And traditional knowledge related to bioresources is just there. So, traditional knowledge related to bioresources can be exploited to develop modern applications and can also be used to save time, efforts and expenditure during their commercialization. What are you saying? Usually, if you want to research what plant you want to know, you can use it as a medicine or you can use it as a medicine. But what do we know? Neem. That's why we use it as a paper. That's why we use it as a kiriminasani. Manjal, one kiriminasani. This is our antibiotic. Manjal, we use it as a medicine. So, we have already manjal and antibiotic knowledge. That's why we use it as a research. We can use it as an antibiotic in the neem tree. We can use it as a medicinal product. So, time and effort is a bit of a mix of the traditional knowledge. There has been growing realization of the injustice, inadequate compensation. Compensation is very important to us. And benefit sharing between developed and developing countries. So, developing countries have knowledge from and then and the plant resources sell at the point you want to cast a good crying a developed nation therefore some nations are developing laws to prevent such unauthorized exploitation of their bio resources and traditional knowledge the Indian Parliament has recently cleared the cap on the second amendment of the Indian patent bill that takes such issues into consideration including patent terms emergency provisions and research and development initiative so namakki namlai patent wangla namai dhaadu kandu pudu cha adala kudu karthu ku Indian Patent Bill வந்து Second Amendment வாட்டு ரிலிஸ் பண்ணிருக்காங்க So, இதில் அவ்வளோதான் நம்ம கொஷின் பாய்ண்ட் ஆப்பியுல் அந்த பாஸ்மதி ரைஸ் நீம் அப்பிறோம் டர்மரிக் அதுக்கு அப்பிறோம் GEAC ஓட புல் பார்ம் அதல்லாம் பாத்து வைச்சிருங்க அதில்லந்தலாம் கொஷின் அப்பிருக்கிறேன்